Northern California, spectacular and enchanting. And the preeminent attraction is the natural and cultivated beauty of Napa and Sonoma counties. This is America's premier wine producing region. Napa and Sonoma host over 375 wineries with tens of thousands of acres of vineyards.
The Napa Valley is world famous for its wines. Because it's close to the cool waters of the bay, it has an ideal climate for growing a variety of wine grapes. The climate of the valley is by no means uniform, and that dictates what types of grapes are planted and where. This is the Carneros district of the Napa Valley, down on the southern end of the valley. Back there is the San Pablo Bay. Nice cool water brings up the cool breeze. Perfect weather for growing Chardonnay and Pinot Noir, and that's what you see back there. All of that is Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. They just love the cool weather. Now we're in Oakville. We're farther up the valley, farther away from San Pablo Bay. You don't get as much cool breeze from the bay, and we're surrounded by the warm hills. It's a warmer climate, which is perfect for Cabernet, and that's what you see here. We sat down with two of the valley's top winemakers, Ray Corson. We're closer to the mountain, so we're shading. Owner and winemaker at Elise Winery, and Dean Sylvester, winemaker at Whitehall Lane. And what's on their minds on a beautiful, mild afternoon? The weather. Right now, things look very good. This could be a great season. The biggest worry right now is heat. The climate of Napa is helped by the fog from the bay. It helps to minimize the heat spells we get in the Central Valley. When the winemaker's job is done, one bottle of his wine will end up in a brown paper bag on this table in front of this man. This is James Lobby, senior editor of Wine Spectator magazine. His job is to help consumers decide which wines are good and which ones they might want to pass. Jim samples about 5,000 wines a year, and he can taste the difference weather makes on the wine. It looks like a very good year. And a good year is what everyone in Napa would like. All right, this next wine is from Four Vines Vineyards. It's called Naked Chardonnay. They call it Naked Chardonnay because it's got no oak aging, so you get a clean, crisp, stripped-down Chardonnay fruit taste. They call it naked because it's got no wood. But it is so tasty, you may get wood when you drink it. But, you know, Jesus was turning the water into wine, right? Here's my question. Bible blueprint. Why did they run out of wine after Jesus and his disciples show up? I have it on very good authority that the best part about drinking box wine is when you're finished, you can, you can blow up the bag and use it as a pillow. Complex, mysterious, fleshy, garrulous. <laughs> it's like a wine puberty in your mouth. In 1976, there was an event that put Napa Valley on the map. It was called the Judgment of Paris. What exactly is the Judgment of Paris? It was a tasting by French judges of California and French wine. So the Americans and the French were faced off in a blind taste test. And two wines from Napa Valley won. Chateau Montalena and Stag's Leap Wine Cellars. Before the Paris tasting, France ruled the world of wine. Yeah. And then came the revolution. I do it again! So basically, Chateau Montalena and Stag's Leap proved that world-class wines could be made here in Napa Valley. That put Napa Valley on the map. It was like a rocket takeoff. The judgment of Paris meant that we could play in a big league. And uh, that day, we hit one over the fence. When you're on a diet, starving through the day, one small glass of wine might be a good idea, you say. But here's a warning for young and old, everyone listen here. Wine will do you in a lot faster than beer. It all starts with one small taste. You forgot about the diet, trying to watch your waist. You don't heed the warnings of your family. Using yourself to the bathroom, you say just to pee, but you've had too much wine on an empty stomach. Now you've got your head stuck in the toilet. The rest of the night you'll be carrying around a bucket. Wine on an empty stomach. <laughs> 